So as we all know, the FIFA and I guess now FC development team are well known for adding things that we neither don't want or don't need in career mode and instead ignoring what the fans actually want. FC24 is no different, with this year's main feature being the tactical vision. I can't tell you the amount of times I've had people on my tactics videos telling me or asking me to do it on career mode instead of kickoff because then they can look at the tactical vision and asking me which tactical vision they should use and to all of those I say use custom you don't need a tactical vision in this video today i want to tell you guys why you should ignore the tactical visions and just use custom and why ultimately they're quite pointless so with that being said roll the intro and let's get into it So for this video, we are using Bournemouth in career mode as an example, just your standard run of the mill top division team, kind of a, trying to avoid relegation, etc. Ignore the early record. I did play Liverpool and West Ham in the first two games. So there you go. Um, and with this, we want to go through the coaches. So what does Tactical Vision do first and foremost? Well, very quickly, before we get on to the meat and bones of this, uh, what it does is it locks you into a way of playing. For example, you can choose Tiki Taka, and in that case, you have to have slow build up for the build up play. You have to have chance creation on balanced, not possession. Work that one out. You're also locked into certain player instructions, such as deep lying playmaker for your defensive midfielders. You have to have cut inside for your wingers. Again, not sure why. And that goes the same for all of the other ones as well. Gegen pressing, even though it says you have to win the ball back in the opponent's third whenever possible, it only has press after possession loss, which is just a counter press after you lose the ball. Surely it would be constant pressure, but there you go. It also locks you into fast build up and direct passing for Gagan pressing, even though pressing is just when you're out of possession. It doesn't have any effect when you're in possession. So again, completely pointless, but it does lock you into these ways of playing. On the other hand, you can go to custom, which is what I do, which means that you can just do whatever you want with your tactic, make your own tactics, and you're not limited to anything. The drawback of doing this is that it means that your coaches don't develop. Now, if we go into it here, you'll see I've got a whole range of coaches. And as you can see, they're currently different star ratings. The whole idea of getting coaches to develop is that they actually improve their star ratings and they also improve their ability to kind of mold into that tactical vision. As you can see with this guy, Henry Stevenson here, his level with or knowledge of Tiki Taka is expert. However, if you wanted a park the bus, for example, he's a novice and it would need to develop him into a more rounded coach. However, the fact that you are using custom means he isn't going to develop, he's just going to remain at that level. But here's the trick here. As you'll see, with all of my current position groups, I'm not at the ideal star rating. For example, with the defense, I'm on 16, the ideal is 17. For the midfield, I'm on 15 when the ideal is 20. However, I'm still getting positive results for all of these. For example, Tyler Adams, even though we're only at 15 stars out of 20 for the midfield, his development time has been slashed from 32 weeks to 16 weeks, so 50% almost for that. The same with someone like Traore, who's gone down from 29 to 14 weeks. We can also look at the attackers here. All of these guys have been slashed down uh, to more reasonable weeks. So in this case, why would I need my coaches to develop by using a tactical style when I'm already getting positive results by just using custom and just hiring enough coaches to get decent star ratings out of each position group? The answer to that is there is no reason. There is no reason to use one of the tactical visions just use custom and hire enough coaches so that you're getting positive developments out of each one. You don't need to worry about them developing and getting better when you're already getting positive results. As you can see with this tactic, I've been free to go and do whatever I please. If I go onto one of these, all of a sudden I'm locked into what they want me to do and all of a sudden I can't use that. For example, the minute I go below 60 whip for this wing play, all of a sudden it goes into custom. So don't be one of those people. Don't be locked in to using a certain tactical vision and don't worry about using a tactical vision. Use custom, hire just enough coaches that you need in order to get the positive result as I've done here. And all of a sudden you will find it's far easier, far more streamlined, and you just really need to ignore this brand new feature. So with that being said, I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications down below. And don't forget to check out my Patreon. The link will also be down below. You can get access to lots of fantastic perks and rewards. Uh, that is a great way to also support the channel. Hopefully from now on, no one will ask for what which tactical vision to use in my tactics videos. 
praying from here on out. And with that being said, we're going to finish it there. Thank you everyone for watching. And until the next one, I will see you soon.